Good morning, one and all. My name is Altamar, and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights. It is uh, a little bit early this morning. I decided to get up a little bit early today and try and get a video in before heading off to work. It also means I'm a little tired. It is a glorious 5.20 in the morning, and I got about 25 minutes before I have to get going, so let's see how far we can get in that amount of time. Where we left off, oh shit, what is that thing? That is a red slad. We summoned another red slad, so that's kind of weird. Luckily, it doesn't look like this red slad can summon yet another red slad, so... I think we're we're past our slideception moment at the... Well, hopefully for now, anyways. Tomy is just getting railed. He is going to die so badly. Oh, he didn't die. He just almost died. Oh, god, there's something else coming, too, now. I'm running away. The summon one is dead, but we're having a little bit of concerns regarding the other one that is uninjured completely. So we're going to race down the hallway, and then we're going to use this. Ah, go! And we escaped with our lives. Let's heal up, and then we'll grab Tomy back. So one red sled, not so bad. Two, a little bit tougher. Two plus a fire elemental. It's time to run away for just a little bit, at least. Alright, now let's fight this red slad. This is the actual red slad. I don't think the other one is worth any experience, to be honest, so let's check. If I were a red slad... ...that I killed recently... ...they were worth no experience. Perfect. It's always good to get nothing for killing a pretty, well, not really a hard mob, just... Oh, <laughs> I got encumbered by a tongue. Well, that's... Well, that's something new. Oh, whoops. Did not move my bag properly. There we go. Now we have some breathing room for our inventory. I will clear it out between the next video and this one. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. Uh, we're gonna take the tome with fire, and yeah, let's go try and open some chests. Okay, okay. There's one locked one. Go figure. Is that a trapped bookshelf? Uh, it's it done. actually is, huh? Okay, so we got the uh, mascar and thing. Oh, fancy. Some crafting mats, always good. Candelabra. Okay, Makes okay. the room brighter. Good. Always a positive sign. Makes it more inviting, you know. Uh, it's done. Especially in this closed floor plan. You need as much lighting as you can because, damn, this place is dark and gloomy. Uh, now, where's the Emeskar and Tome of Fire? What did it say? This heavy and tattered tome is labeled with a large and ancient rune that translates simply to fire. Among its more interesting passages is the following. The fire beetle belly is an amazing organ that manages to retain its full heat even after the beetle's death. When combined with the red resilience of the quartz crystal and then empowered with the spell fireball, the end is a device that can emit the most or burst of fire at will. The creation of most fire-based wand is based on this simple formula. I see. Well, I have no real desire to make a wand of fire at the moment, so... I don't really care. Time to die! Good job of disabling that trap, Tommy. The one I didn't even notice as I walked over it. We are going to go back the other way. I don't... I think that might be where we need to go for the end part of this. And there's like... At least two or other rooms possibly three that we can go into. There's three doors. I'm not sure if they're all individual rooms. Some of them might be doubled up, but we'll take a peek. Everybody is dead, according to the lady who's asking for help. Ow. Actually, it didn't hurt too much. I don't know why I owed that. Fire elementals no with several candelabras and a ritual brazier.
These guys are actually hitting me a lot harder than I thought they would. Alright, there are doors north and south. Can I rest here? Oh, enemies nearby. So let's go back. Possibly in this main room we can rest. Because I don't see any enemies in here. There we go. Perfect. Everything is coming up us today. Sort of. Other than the fact that we have no idea how to do this ritual. Or what it summons. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Maybe? We'll go take a look in the other rooms. Maybe there's more to this place than meets the eye. No enemies in this room, which- oh yeah, there are other fire elementals. Like normal, as is tradition. Come on, Tommy, help me here. There we go. Come on, finish him off. And then you can disarm that trap for me. The Journal of Carla oh, Jereg. That could be important to read. You said that was done. Uh, it's done. Okay, okay. I've run over a trap. It's done, don't worry, the trap's gone. Wait, don't run over it! It's not done! Silly Tommy. Alright, the Journal of Carla Jareg. Part of me feels guilty for having tricked my brother into such a crime, but it was necessary. I am growing old and my research is not done. These northern wastes are brutal. Oh, sorry, are a brutal land, but so full of magic. If only I could be undying, then my studies could go on unhindered by this call of mortal flesh. I can hear Quinn's voice cutting through the walls as he reads to the children in the library. I can hear their laughter. Belial says they must die tonight. All of them. All of the children of Charwood. It is a grim task, but for a greater good, I swear to it. There must be blood tonight if I'm to bind my soul to that phylactery. Well, that's never good. Okay, okay. Come on, Tommy, open the door. Bookshelf. Which has nothing of particular- oh wait, we already did this place. We've already done this library area. I recognize it already. There's more elementals and stuff outside. Did they respawn? Because I thought we killed everything up there. Maybe things respawn in this place, which I guess would kind of make sense. Because there is a possible open ritual portal thing. Toby! Open it up. Uh, it's done. Oh, interesting. It's a hallway with a trap in it. Tommy, get back in here. Open the... Oh my god, really? Um, where is the deal trap? Oh, it's, he's going. Good. Good job, Tommy. Another hellhound. Uh, it's done. Hellhound's not so bad. You can actually sneak attack and critical them, which is super duper nice. Could you imagine if a game like WoW followed the uh, rule set for Dungeons and Dragons? Be like, oh yeah, the, those rogues you brought on that raid? Too bad they can't uh, use any of their criticals. What's that? Your <laughs> if you're like using second or first edition, or maybe it's first edition only. Can't remember now. It's either first and second edition or just first edition. But uh, there was a time where if you were an elf or dwarf or any non-human race, you couldn't be resurrected or raised dead. If you died, it was hardcore mode. If you died, it was over. That was it. That's a lot of enemies coming in. Time to run. Oh, that hurt. That's a huge army outside. Where did they all come from? We're going back. That was an unexpected force. I was not expecting to have that many guys out there. 
Where did they all come from? Like, that was several beetles, a huge fire elemental, another fire elemental, some methods. And I've walked across that hallway recently, or walked... Maybe I didn't walk through it, but... Oh, where am I going? Alright, let's see if we can find out how to beat them. Might just have to take them on a couple at a time and run away. Wait, where are you going? Don't... Oh, you mother... Okay, he's not going as far as I thought he was going to go. I thought he was going to run off towards the huge fire elemental. I was like, are you kidding me? Don't do that. That's stupid. You are literally going to get us killed. He's that guy that runs in and pulls an entire room. And kills the entire group. And then he's the one that also bitches about the like dungeon going too long after the group wipes. <laughs> Stupid Tommy. Oh well. He didn't die, and we killed everything, so that's a plus. I cannot for the life of me remember what to do with the ritual room. I'm guessing it has to do something with the phylactery, though. There's still a ton of guys here. Uh, it's done. There's a fire method. There's two fire methods? Three fire beetles? No, just two. And a fire elemental. Alright, well, let's try and go in a whirlwind attack and see what happens. Why don't I have this hotkeyed? And it's time to run away. Whee! Uh, I'm not gonna go back in there. That's suicide. Tell me you can die. I'll just go get him back again. How much gold are we wasting on this endeavor? Tons. Just absolute boatloads. Sorry about that. There's a... I can't, for some reason, interact with my game. I think it's broken. Oh, no, there we go. Also, I had some weird bug happen a couple seconds ago. And now, we are fighting a lot of things. Hopefully, we can still win. The huge elemental at least isn't here. But you may have noticed that fire elemental and beetle has caught up with us. I think we're going to leave Tomy dead for the moment. The beetle's not engaging us, so let's try and run back to the back of the room. See if we can't rest up. If we can get some life back, we should be okay to at least take on the beetle. And if not just the beetle, then we will also kill the huge fire lab until it's going to kill us, probably. Alright, so the beetle is apparently gone. It went and took a nap as well, and now it is nowhere to be found. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to see what this is. I'm just going to check the ones that look like gold, because usually they're potions. And potions are vastly better than fire beetle glands. Although that one is just straight up gold. I guess it's good too. And a fox is cunning. I thought I picked that up. Oh well. Maybe there were two stacked on top of each other. So we're going to go back and try and fight this huge er, fire elemental. We're going to save though, because if we die, we might have to go get Tomy back to soak up hits for us. Or deal hits. There's always the possibility that he can actually do something. Oh my god, that hurts. Wait, did he roll two crits in a row? Oh no, he didn't. Or did he? He hit me on a six? That's kind of... That's kind of scary. That means he's hitting me pretty much every time. Oh my god, he hits hard. Okay, uh... Run away! Definitely gonna get a follower for this fight. It was so str I guess 150 bucks to resurrect him is not that bad. Alright, so we're wasting just boatloads of gold doing this though, so we can't keep doing this. It's not working.
You got this, Tommy. I believe in you. I maybe don't. Oh, nice. That was a good crit. He's just chugging potions, trying to stay alive desperately. Great. He's dead again. This thing has insane attack rating. Okay, time to leave yet again. <laughs> I died on the way out. Are you kidding me? Alright. Let's try that again. Should have saved. I think this may be one of those moments where we need some potions. So let's do bark skin, at least. We'll take a potion of bull strength too. Gives us 21 strength. Let's go see if we can fight this out. Stop it. Get off the wall. He has like three attacks around. It's insane. All right, let's see if we can get out of here and heal. Come on, heal. No! Use your fucking thing, you idiot. Ugh. It's so irritating when that happens. You're like, use the item. They're like, no, nah, I'm just going to stand here and dodge. That's exactly what sounds like a great plan. In this event where we're getting just the crap kicked out of us, I'm just going to stand here. Looking kind of cool, dodging. That's a good start to the fight. Okay. Now we're gonna leave, like right now. Let's go. Right now, let's go. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on. This is getting annoying. Stop doing your weird dodgy thing and just teleport out when I tell you to. Slightly irritating. We finally had a good beginning where we actually got a crit off. All right, running backwards. He is super fast. There we go. Now we got out. Blah blah. Oops. Need healing. Yep. Let's go, Tommy. Luckily, the good thing about healing is we don't lose our potions for doing so. No, looks like Tommy's under attack. I think this fire elemental might be overtuned for its level. Because it is just shit kickingly hard. It has huge damage reduction and has four attacks around, it looks like. And plus 19 to hit. It might be a monk class type thing. Oh, there's a beetle. And another fire elemental. Good. That's exactly what I need is more enemies to fight while I'm trying to kill the stupidly powerful super elemental. One thing that I wish this game would do is, like, the voice acting is okay. Don't get me wrong. But it doesn't need to be every freaking time that you do something. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, running away. We're gonna run away and heal one more time. It's almost dead, which is good. We're getting close. This fight's gonna cost us like 450 gold, but we're gonna win in the end, and that's what's important, I guess. Shut up, I know it's so strange, blah, blah, blah. Come on, let's finish this thing off. There we go. Oh, we got enough experience to level out of that too. Which actually is quite good. I'll take that as a victory. That thing was incredibly hard to kill though. Super duper hard. Let's level up here. We're going to go Weapons Master, of course. And we have four skill points, so we're going to take... Heal and Discipline, of course, and we're also going to take 
another one in Persuade. Because we're not quite that good at that yet. Uh, so we do get another feat at this level. What do I want? Probably Power Attack. Or Improved Critical. Yes, definitely Improved Critical with Scythes. There we go, now we have a 19 to 20 crit range. So that gives us a little bit more. We went it from 5% chance to 10% chance. Can't go wrong with that, that's pretty decent. And now we can finally go into Jerry's room. He's not, oh, oh there he is. He just doesn't spawn yet. Bust down the door. a hard door to bust down. It's a very hard door to bust down. I guess we'll just wait it out. Although we only have two minutes left before I gotta get going, so maybe not so much. Let's just kill the beetle and then we'll call it a video right before we talk to Carla Jareg. So, like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. I know this is a little bit of a shorter one today. I just uh, kind of ran out of time this morning, so... I will see you guys uh, it's done. tomorrow.